All right, in this tutorial, we are gonna get you all set up for our color swatches. Now, in our tutorials, there are really two different ways that we bring in our color. So we're gonna show you the most recent and current one and probably the easiest version. So over in the right-hand side, we are gonna be looking for our swatches. Again, if you do not see that icon, all you need to do is come over window, drop down to where it says swatches, and then you will be ready to go. And in the updated version, most of these are becoming swatch libraries just so it is super easy for you to grab and then you don't have to take any time installing them so same thing that we just did for our cartoon brush libraries we're going to do the exact same thing for our swatches i'm going to come down where it says swatch libraries menu i'm going to click on that i am going to click on other library and then i am going to do the exact same thing go into downloads we've already extracted all double click i'm going to click on color palettes now when you are in there, just pay attention to what video you are going through. It'll let you know, hey, there's a swatch library file ready to go. If you notice that we are doing spot color with our eyedropper, which I'll show you how to do next, that is what all of these other ones are going to be for. So swatch libraries, I'm just gonna click on it. I'm gonna drop down to Popsicle, click on open. And just so you can see it, Sometimes it is hiding down at the bottom. So there are all of the colors that we're gonna be using for the tutorial. And the only thing that you really need to do is it's already popped up over here, but we are gonna click on that folder and then it'll pop up into your swatches. So a lot of times it, you want it to be in your swatches, especially for gradients. It won't show up if you don't click on that folder. So just the last little thing before you click off of it, click on that folder, double check that it is in fact in your swatches. And that's it, then you can just get rid of it. So what we wanna do is show you how to do some spot color. So we are gonna come up to the top. So file, place, I am gonna go into our downloads. Same thing, color palettes. And then now I'm just gonna be looking for any of those. And these aren't gonna be really for the popsicle, but let's just use our hot dog one. I'm gonna click on place. I'm just going to plop that right on down. And this is from Adobe Color. And I'm gonna show you if you guys do have CC that it is already hanging out right over there in your panel. So Adobe Color is already in Adobe CC. So if we're gonna do a nice little version of it, so let's just take our swatches, let's just drag it out so we can see it. I'm gonna click on our eyedropper, and then all I need to do is start clicking, and I might just create a new color group. So let's just call this one Popsicle. Click on OK. So if I click on the blue, now I'm just gonna be dragging that into our nice little folder. So if it goes in the wrong direction, that is fine. So again, I'm just spot coloring, eyedropper, super rapid fire, just grab it. And then I'm clicking and dragging and bringing that down. This is pretty flexible. So if you don't put it in the right direction or the right folder, you can always just drag it and then move it down. So those are all gonna be there. If you wanted to say, hey, I want some more values, you can always just click it and then just keep dragging over more and more values. So that would be another just version. So if you need more as you are needing them you can just drag them right on over i can position them how i want double click maybe i want a darker blue so you can be adding pretty quickly so once you get the hang of it that is it and then let's just do another little thing just so you can once you have a, a color set that you like you can just come up to the top drop down and now i can save that as a swatch library so some things that if you know you're going to be using it or if you say hey i spent some time building this you can save it as a swatch library if it pops up notice this this is the default you can say hey i want this popsicle shapes beginner click on save so i notice that i am not saving this into the download and i'm just showing you what it's going to do it will give you this pop-up every single time. All that means is if you did gradients or if you did half tones or something like that, those aren't going to pop up. And all that does is if I'm in my swatches, and if I go into color library, you are gonna notice that it is now nice front and center. So if you want it to be ready to go for you for future tutorials or just for future use, if you save it in the default setting without saving it into your, let's say downloads, it will be right there staring you in the face. So it's pretty nice if you are gonna be using the same colors over and over and over again. So that is gonna be all we are gonna be doing for our swatches. You're pretty much ready to go in terms of installing things for our tutorials.